Hi Keys Mods fans, this is David Fine and we are going through a series of videos describing for you the mods of the Florida Keys. We've got over 600 species of mods in the Florida Keys and I think there's a lot more, we just haven't found them yet. But guys, we're going through one by one and showing you what we know about mods that live in the Florida Keys in this little strip of islands that's down in South Florida. Uh, it's an incredibly rich and diverse place. Today, we're gonna be talking about one that is very rarely found in the Florida Keys, but across the United States is known to be common and is known to be a, a pest. In fact, it's if you ever grow tomato plants, you probably despise when you see tomato hornworms. Guys, today we're gonna to be talking about the five-spotted hawk moth otherwise known as the tomato hornworm. Um, haven't found many of them in the Keys, but we're gonna talk all about this bug as we find it in South Florida. Okay, this box is a box of my Manduka species that live in the Keys. Well, pink spotted hawk moth is Agrius, genus Agrius, but these three are genus Manduka and you know, we've got, here's the tomato hornworm, which we're talking about today. Uh, we've got two other species, the rustic sphinx, which is different enough where you wouldn't confuse it. But the tomato hornworm and the tobacco hornworm are actually very closely related, very, very similar. And, you know, there is differences in the forewing. There's differences in the hindwing. Uh, the, the five spotted hawk moth or the tomato hornworm is called the five spotted hawk moth. And the reason is on each side of the abdomen, they have five spots. And we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. The tobacco hornworm has six spots, right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and then this little one on the end is six. So uh, that is a name given to both of them that differentiates them, um, you know, but the hind wings are different enough where it's not hard to tell them apart. Now, the problem is they cover their hind wings with their fore wings. So when this thing is at rest, this fore wing slides down over the top of the hind wing and the abdomen. So you can't count spots and you can't see the difference in the hind wings which is actually fairly different. Uh, so you have to be able to tell them apart using only the forewing. And the tomato hornworm or the five spotted hawk moth has this white line out here and is, is not nearly as modeled in patterning uh, as the tobacco hornworm is. Now the hind wing is a lot different because tomato hornworm has all these little broken, you know, the, the, the lines in the hind wing are broken. Tobacco hornworm, they're not broken up. They're just kind of straight, flat uh, bars, and they're a lot thicker, a little bit darker of a patterning on the tobacco hornworm. Um, so it's a pretty decent sized moth, almost four inches uh, wingspan, four to five inch wingspan. And uh, I have only ever seen two tomato hornworms in South Florida. This one I found actually at Dolphins, Dolphin Stadium when I was about 12 years old. That's a long, long, long time ago. I'm dating myself, aren't I? Uh, <laughs> so Dolphin Stadium, at, attracted to the lights, obviously, that was like 32 years ago. That, that specimen's 32 years old. The other one, this is the only specimen that I have ever found in the Florida Keys. And we found it on Key Largo in the month of July. And so that is the only specimen. Here's my website, keysmoths.com, guys, if you want to check out all 600 species of moths from the Florida Keys, you can check out my website. It's keysmoths.com, okay? And so uh, the host plants, you know, they eat a whole bunch of different things in the Solanaceae family, tomatoes, tobacco, uh, all kinds of things in that family. And like I said, if you grow tomatoes, then you've probably run into this bug and you've probably cringed because as a caterpillar, they just mow. <laughs> and so 
they just to destroy your tomato plants. And so that's, that is how they are commonly known throughout most of the United States and Central and South America. They have a very wide range. However, we just don't see many of them down here in South Florida. Uh, we don't have a whole lot to report on this species, guys, because this species, like I said, we haven't had much experience with in South Florida. And this channel is mainly about South Florida. You can obviously get plenty more information about the tomato hornworm in you know, various other uh, venues, uh, but we are just gonna leave it here. Uh, we see the, uh, the tobacco hornworm a lot more commonly in the Keys. We actually, it's actually abundant in the Keys, but tomato hornworm, not so much. So I guess the guys in the Keys, people in the Keys need to start growing more tomatoes or something. Anyway, um, but that's all about all we got for the tomato hornworm. So I'm a social guy. You know, I, I love moths, uh, but I also love butterflies. And, you know, guys, if you want to join a club or join an organization with some friendly people that are really knowledgeable about butterflies and moths, I suggest checking out the Southern Lepidoptera Society. I'm going to give the link to the website in my description because the Southern Lepidoptera Society is a group of men and women, a couple hundred of them, that specialize in the knowledge and science, uh, advancing the knowledge of Lepidoptera in the Southern United States. And, you know, it's about 35 bucks a year to be a member and you get newsletters, you get invited to meetings and you cover all kinds of cool stuff. And, um, you know, it's a good thing to join. I suggest doing it. Guys, hope you liked the video. The tomato hornworm, even though we don't see many of them in the Keys, uh, I like them. I think they're, I don't know, they're, they're cool. I, I mean, every time I put tomatoes in my garden, I only get the tobacco hornworm. I haven't found tomato hornworm uh, moths yet, but I, I'm gonna keep trying. So guys, hope you liked the video. Uh, give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and we've got a lot of action where this is coming from. So. Um, hit the bell for notifications so you get notified whenever we put out new stuff. So, uh, guys, let's get out there and enjoy some Sphinx mods. Take care.